the door and two bottles of whiskey fell out. He goes, my God, what is that? I said, Daddy, somebody put two bottles of whiskey in my car. <laughs> you know my daddy believed that? He said, I ain't right, Jess. I said, it ain't right, Daddy. <laughs> Who would do such a thing? He walked back and he told my mama. He said, Mama, somebody put two bottles of whiskey in that boy's car. Mama said, uh-huh. I'm looking at mama. And that Wayne, I told you, mama, he drinks all the time. Y'all, he always catch me, but he drinks all the time. Daddy, one time I put two bottles of booze in the washing machine. Because I knew if my daddy ever caught me drinking at the house, he'd kill me. He said, boy, you come here drunk, I'm going to kill you. You understand? I'll make another one look just like you, but I'm going to kill you. And I got drunk. Mama always knew I drank because I'd, I'd hit the door. See, I'd hit the hall. We live in a trailer. Thank God for trailers because, see, if I fell, I'd just hit a wall. You know? So I'd put my hand on the door. Oh. Oh. Get back to that bed. Oh. Uh, and then I'd be sleeping, and all of a sudden I felt a presence in my room. It wasn't God. I opened my eyes, it was my mama with her nose by my mouth going, <laughs> smelling my breath. You've been drinking. Start beating me, man. Lord, mama, don't hit me. Anyway, we was eating breakfast. Daddy turned on the washing machine. Boom, boom, bang, bang, boom, bang, bang. He said, what's in there? I said, tennis shoes, daddy, tennis shoes. Mama looked at me, he said, what's that smell? Boy, I knew I had been had. And we had a bird named George. This was an evil parrot. <laughs> tell you everything going. I tell you what, my brother Mark, you know, he's not here this morning. Mark would sneak to the refrigerator and get something even as a kid. And this stupid bird would say, Mark's in the icebox! Mark's in the icebox! Call it the icebox. He just beat the bird. He's about that big. True story. I'm not kidding. And as I walk by, that crazy bird said, Jesse been drinking. I said, shut up, George. We gave him bacon to kill him. <laughs> Ham, sausage. A bird ain't supposed to eat that, they're gonna die. Not that bird, that bird loved pig. <laughs> we got him on sale because he had one toe. <laughs> <laughs> You can knock him over even. He just fall back. I'm telling you a true story. Daddy loved him. <laughs> he didn't love daddy. Daddy put a bag on me. I want to hug him. And he said, you could, if you kept his eyes closed, you could hug him. You take that bag off. <laughs> George, Jesse's been drinking. I don't know how that bird found out about that. He's in hell today. We put, a, we put a girl bird in one time, try to help him out. I believe he was homosexual. I tell you, I think I'm... <laughs> crazy. He didn't like her. I said, come on, George. Anyway, glory to God. <laughs> when you understand this, red eye, this green-eyed monster's eyes turns red, this jealousy does not allow a person to reason. Just because somebody's better than you, you, you begin to plot to try to get them out so you can look better. You understand what I'm saying? Girls have that some, I don't think they have it as strong, maybe they do, you know, sisters, you know, one might be prettier than the other. I don't know how that stuff works, you know what I'm saying? I'm just glad God created you. I never forget when I first met Kathy. I never, you know how I met Kathy? Uh, Kathy Carre, a career, excuse me, career. I'm still, I'm, I was a lifeguard. Oh yeah, I was, at, I was at the Legion Park pool, the lifeguard. And the only reason why I took that job so I could meet girls. <laughs> I mean, I enjoyed swimming, but not that much. <laughs> but them girls go swimming. And one of these friends of mine, uh, I used to work with named Matt Chasson. He might be watching today. He said, Jesse, there are five girls coming out of the girl thing. He said, you ought to see them, man. They are fine women. I said, yeah. So, man, we start flexing, you know. <laughs> well, I can't flex no more. <laughs> let, me, let me help it out here. Can you see? Is it working? <laughs> It's all, it's all fell down now. It's just... <laughs> what y'all laughing at? You just in bad shape as I am. <laughs> we flex it. <laughs> we 
Reflection, you know what I'm saying? How many of you boys used to, come on, man, hold your hand up, you flex, come on. Ask people, where the bathroom? <laughs> that away. <laughs> They'll do it all right, mama. <laughs> mama okay, she, she used to go, whoo, whoo, Jesse. Not no more, she goes, whoo, Jesse. <laughs> We were flexing, and sure enough, all five of them came out. I'm, and they were all in line. They were Myra, Deborah, Kathy, Christine, and Patty. You ought to have seen them, man. All had this long, beautiful hair. All of them had hair, beautiful hair. They just come walking out, and I thought, talk to me. Hey, 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 Lord. <laughs> were you there? You might have been there. <laughs> I tell you what, and, uh, and uh, you know, I got to meet him and became a friend of the family, and we started dating black, and finally I married Kathy. Now, I, I, I have never given Kathy, I, I, I became a preacher of the gospel. I, I, I'll say this on television, I'm a pure man. I mean, I, there ain't no past in my life, what I mean by that? I don't mess with no women, I don't steal no money. I know some of y'all say, no, yeah, yeah. No, I don't. I mean, don't blame me for what your, what your preacher did. Don't shout me down when I'm preaching good. But I have to bear that brunt sometimes. But one time, not long ago, I guess about five, six, seven years ago, we went to Albuquerque. Now, me and Kathy got a good marriage, even though I joke around a lot. Well, we do have a great marriage. I give her nothing to be jealous of. She gives me nothing to be jealous of. You know, jealousy, let me tell you something. Even the nice, there ain't no such thing as nice jealousy. It like to jump on you when you least expect it. So we, I, I'm preaching in Albuquerque. And there's a mall across the street from the hotel. So Kathy said, you want to go to that mall? This was during the day, you know. I said, yeah, we'll go to that mall. So I, so I walked across the street. We, in fact, we didn't get a cab. But we walked across. We had to walk over uh, four lane highway. There, walked across the street. We started walking in the mall. So I'm just looking. You know, when you go in different parts of the country, they all have the decor. Like when you get into Albuquerque, everything is southwest. Everything is earth tones, colors, you know. They, they, they kind of like doing that. So I'm walking like this. I'm walking this mall, and what I'm looking for is a pair of cowboy boots. I'm thinking, man, I'm going to get me a pair of nice-looking cowboy boots. So as I'm walking... As I looked at Kathy, I see Kathy going. <laughs> I mean, she just puffed up, ding, 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 nails out, mad as a hunch. I said, "What's your problem?" I see you looking. I see you looking. I see you see me looking, looking at what? I see you looking at the girl with that short dress. I said, "What girl with a short dress?" Now that's a stupid thing to start looking for the girl with the short dress. I didn't even see the girl with the short dress. I didn't even know she was in the mall. And she was going up an escalator. You picture it. I'm preaching. I'm going to let you picture it. I'm walking. Kathy thinks I'm looking underneath this woman's dress. Going up this. I ain't even seen the escalator. I ain't even seen the girl. I'm looking at this store right by the escalator. There's a pair of boots. And I look at her. Green eyed and turn red. She want to kill me, mad as all. I said, Woman, are you crazy? I said, What woman? Then she realized I didn't even see the escalator. Oh, no, she went, Oh, Jesse, I'm sorry. I said, What woman? <laughs> if I'm going to be accused, just let me see who I'm being accused of. <laughs> I never, I still hadn't seen the woman, still hadn't seen the escalator. She said, I thought you was low. I said, what, Lee? Where? She said, never mind. <laughs> she just knew up and down. I thought, woman, are you, je are you jealous? You jealous? Of <laughs> and then all of a sudden, I started believing them in myself. You still got it, boy. <laughs> yeah, you still got it. They may, I mean, your, your flexing is floppy, but bless God. Close her eyes. Her eyes are floppy there when she ain't noticed the falling down stuff, the gravity. I couldn't reason with that woman for a few minutes. She was mad as a horn at me, thinking I first thing for I preach her the gospel. And second, my husband. I, I never seen the woman till today. I don't know who she is. But if looks could have killed, that woman died when she got to the top of that escalator. I don't doubt it. I don't know. I never seen her. I still don't know. Well, I wind up getting the boots. You know, I was looking at the boots. I was, see, what I did is I, I, I was like this. <laughs> now, here's the escalator. I ain't looking at the escalator because the store, like this would be the escalator, the store is right here. Man, and I'm looking for them, uh, what do you call them, kind of uh, ostrich boots, you know, with the big pimples. 
or whatever you call them, I don't know. You know what I'm talking about? Whatever. Full quill. Full quill. That's what. Bam. I spotted that thing. And she was on me like white on right. She apologized all day long. And I let her do it. You must learn to master yourself before you master others.